Welcome back, everybody, to more Alan Wake. Uh, last time we left our, uh, our intrepid adventure, he had just procured himself a weapon after stumbling through the woods completely unarmed. It, it didn't go great. But now, now we got something to work with. And, uh, we got, we got ourselves a shotgun. But there's still bear traps everywhere. Who has this many bear traps? Why would you put this many bear traps just, like, in the same place? They're, like, they're not bear traps. It's, like, it's, like... Bear carpet. Hey, ladies. Yeah, that's great and all that, that you're big man on campus again. Really? Yeah, it's, it's just worth it to run. Seriously? <sighs> okay, so avoid bear traps, avoid shadow people. Just shadow people can't step on the bear traps, probably. They're just dick shadow people. Hey guys. Thanks for giving me the worst weapon in the game, game. That was awesome of you. Reload, 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 reload. Alright. I'm heading in the right direction, no, I need to go this way. Why are there so many of them? Seriously? How about you guys just get the frick away? You like me now. I could see the car. Hey, but there was no sight of the driver. And there's a set of batteries inside. Frick yeah. Hello? Anybody here? Ah! Barry. So yes. Sounds great. Oh. Save someone's life? Pick up coffee. Pick up coffee. No contest. Well, this was like kind of the kind of like the cabin that I was in with Alice in the beginning. Hey guy, what the frick happened? Okay. Hey, pal. I know you. You were in jail the other day. Thanks for the revolver. I went to the farm again for the moonshine, you know? That sounds like a great plan, pal. You see, they're, they're not going to miss it. They're in the loony bin. But my buddy, Danny, I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. Yeah, it's Shadow Danny. 
like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie where the best friend's suddenly the bad guy who, who wrote this crap anyway. Present. <laughs> All right, pal, you're you're kind of drunk and worth it. What? I've run through every possible course in my head. If I continue Have you? like the dark presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's uh. going to kill her and me and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. Uh -huh. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. Yeah. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events uh. of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes. Cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. Good luck, pal. Whoa. That's not good. That's the, that's the first time this has happened, right? Like... We've never just had the, the, the TVs explode before. So hopefully he didn't mess that up. Ho hopefully, Alan Wake, you did this... Yep. I mean, they're kind of like pets. Damn, pal. Hey, Danny. The front door was locked. But but there's a page right there. The farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. Like the one right in front of you? Manuscript page. Yeah, Hartman considers Mott and Wake. For a moment, Hartman considered strangling the idiot. Mott was mean-spirited, but easily manipulated. An emotional infant who lived for his approval. Wake, by contrast, was a far more difficult subject. Mott had given him too much leash. In two days, who knew what could happen? Hartman would have to find a way to rein him in, and quickly. Okay. Let's see. I'm guessing Mott is... See the guy that had claimed to have kidnapped Alice, but didn't actually kidnap Alice? That's who he sounds like. Is the cabin light on? Yeah, cabin light's on. That means we can drive this car. If Barry wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I made it this far myself. We need to not break this thing before we get there. Barry. Oh, but we we break for coffee. Get out. Get out, Alan. You have a job to do, sir. You need to close the door. We're going to get right back in. Dick. Can I get in from this side? Yes, I can. Oh, I actually have to wait for him to scoot over. That's kind of cool. Is that, is that where I'm going? Oh, there's lights that are telling me to come over here. I guess I get out here? Go through the front door, huh? Sure, I'll go through the front door. Whoa. Yeah, ammo. That breathing is really kind of freaking me out a bit. Oh, hey, flashbangs. You guys are always good. Ooh, batteries. This is a great house. Love this house. What's upstairs? There's death and demons upstairs. No. All right, there's nothing upstairs. Gotcha. Back to the car. Oh man, 
I don't... Look, I don't want to have to go up here. I don't want to go up here at all. But we have to, because you know there's coffee up here. Maybe a page. Coffee and pages. Pages made out of coffee. Coffee made out of pages. Oh, that's best why wants all the pages. The pages are obviously written on coffee filters. Alan Wake just needs more coffee filters. Yeah. Hunting rifle is better than normal shotgun. Well, as I'm sure everyone's noticed, that storm we all felt coming is finally here. The boys at the weather service reckon it'll last until... Oh, of course it will. At the very least. Uh, that means the rest of the game. The, uh, it's lasting for the rest of the game. Persons alert again. The sheriff's department's still looking for a Caucasian woman, 30 years old, slim and blonde with blue eyes. She may be lost in the woods, and it's possible she's been injured in a car accident. Oh, man. If you see her, please Don't make die, sure Alice. you get her indoors and call the sheriff. It's bad weather to be caught out in, so if you see someone yes, in is. the area who maybe looks a little confused, give him a hand, all right? All right. And this is Pat Mayne on KBF. I hope you're staying warm tonight, too, Pat. Really, guys? Look, I know I got a little ballsy, and I'm sorry about that. But I'm not really sorry about that. Hey, fella. If you would just stop already. Okay. So faster than shotgun, still kind of slow. Reload time isn't nearly as bad though. So, so normal shotgun just, just terrible. <laughs> really? I hate driving these things so much because you don't you, you can't use the mouse. Mouse doesn't help you drive in this thing at all. What the frick? You've got you do have to be kidding me. What is this crap? the road. Don't hit the rocks. Don't hit the rocks. It's such a bad car. It's like, instead of having, like, rear-wheel drive, they have, like, rear-wheel steering or something absurd. Really? I... Really? just that. But we have to get out of the vehicle now. Come on, Alan. We got this. It's you and me, pal. You and me. Not even dealing with that thing. Not even. Yeah, boy. Do I see anything shiny in the field? See anything shiny in the field? No. Alright, oh, uh, but there's just totally gonna be something in there. Man. Oh, okay, I need to go this way anyway. Never mind, that's fine. It's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. Alright, for now, we're uh, we're gonna go ahead and break here, guys. Next episode, we are totally getting all the way onto this farm. Find out what is going on, and uh, potentially get an Alan Wake a little tipsy on some creepy hillbilly moonshine made by the Norse gods. Alright, so I'll catch you guys next time. Y'all have a good day.